Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add a decimal to a whole number. So let's jump into the two examples here that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. For number one, we have four plus 39 hundredths. So the first thing we need to do is set this problem up correctly. And at the top of your screen, we have a hint that's going to help us do that. So we need to line up the decimals and use placeholder zeros. So we have a four, and you may be asking, well, how are we supposed to line up the decimals if that four doesn't have a decimal? Well, the decimal isn't shown in the original problem, but every number has a decimal, even whole numbers. And we can place the decimal right after any whole number. So now we can line up the 39 hundredths. So lining up that decimal lines up all the places for us. And it looks a little offset there, but we can use placeholder zeros in order to make both numbers go to the hundredths. And now everything's lined up. Now, placing those zeros to the right of a decimal doesn't change the value of that four. It still has a value of four. So now we just add, so zero plus nine, nine, zero plus three is three. The decimal comes straight down. It's lined up throughout the whole problem. And four plus zero is four. So our final answer is four and 39 hundredths. On to number two. So the first thing we do is set this problem up and line up our decimals. So remember, the decimal comes after any whole number. Now we can line up 12 and 88 hundredths. We can put our placeholder zeros in, that way both numbers go to the hundredths, and we're all set up. So now we just add, zero plus eight is eight, zero plus eight is eight, decimal goes straight down, 7 plus 2 is 9, and 5 plus 1 is 6. So we get 69 and 88 hundredths there. So there you have it. There's how you add a decimal to a whole number. Line up your decimals, use placeholder zeros, and then add. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.